Hello world, mining moron here with another hardcore Minecraft video. One of my goals for day 4000 is to farm every nether mob that can be farmed. So far I have blazes, zombie pigmen, and magma cubes, and today I'm checking another one off my list with the hoglin farm. Now this has to be built above the nether roof in a crimson forest biome. But first, if you enjoy this kind of content, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. It helps the channel grow and really means a lot to me. Now then, let's get going. All right, here we are at the site of the Hoglin farm. You can see here I have eight 13 by 13 spawning platforms. Since we're in a crimson forest, only Hoglins, Piglins, and Zombie Pigmen can spawn here, and the torch spam stops the last two from spawning by keeping the light level above 11. Now, Hoglins are absolutely terrified of warped fungi for some reason, so immediately upon spawning, they will see the ones I've placed on the platform and decide that yeeting themselves off the cliff is preferable to being around these terrible things, and will therefore fall down these chutes, which I've done entirely in red glass, so I can enjoy the sight of thousands of obnoxious pests falling to their death. And over here, you can see another feature I came up with that I'm honestly quite proud of. By flicking this lever, you can actually control whether the farm gives you raw or cooked pork chops. The way it works is the bottommost observer detects this redstone dust being powered or unpowered and sends a redstone signal up through the observer line, triggering a couple of dispensers at the top to fill the drop chutes with lava, which is kept in place by the signs, and thus giving me some nice, uh, crispy, lava-charred hogland chops. Hmm. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. And I can then flick this lever again to give me the raw stuff, which is important for, say, doing a little bit of capitalism with the army of butchers I'm going to bring to my nether hub soon. Speaking of capitalism, hoglins also drop leather, meaning I can do even more capitalism with a bunch of leather workers? Wait, did I just give a use to the most useless villager in the game? As you can see, this farm is actually really OP. I filled all of these chests just while building the farm, not, not even AFKing for hours or anything like that. Just building it, the farm. Here's some capitalism. More capitalism. More capitalism. Even more capitalism. Once my nether trading hall opens, all of these chests are going to be turned into chests of emeralds. And this is probably half a year's supply of food, at the very least, and I'm not talking about in-game time. I think it's safe to say I'm set for food until I die. Alright, enough talk. Let's do a short AFK test and measure exactly how well this thing works. To turn on the farm, we'll have to fly up to this AFK spot, which I made pretty fancy because, honestly, who wants to just stand on a pole for hours? Not me. That sounds boring. That's 10 minutes, now let's go down and see how well it did. Oh wow, just look at the sheer amount of stuff in these chests. I combined all the loot into one chest, and as you can see, I got 32 stacks of pork chops and 5 stacks of leather. That's around 2,000 pork chops and 300 leather in 10 minutes, which equates to 14,000 items per hour, roughly. So yeah, this is honestly a pretty insane farm, and I'm really happy I made it. And I hope you enjoy this video. See you in the next one.